In this video, we are going to see the poem Yerukyam to Mother Earth written by O. N. V. Kurup. The full name of O. N. V. Kurup is Ottapilakal Nilakantan Velu Kurup. He was an Indian Malayali writer. His period was between 1931 and 2016. The poem Yerukyam to Mother Earth was originally written in Malayalam by Kurup under the title Poomikku Oru Charamagidam. It's a poem in praise of nature and earth and also a dirge for mother earth. It is an outcry against the abominable exploitation of nature and earth by humans in the name of development. Now let's see the lines of the poem. The poem starts with an epigraph. It begins thus. A song of praise for this earth, for its search of life, for poetry, the essence of its beauty. Now let's see the stanzas one by one. Mother earth still alive, in the imminence of your death, may your soul rest in peace. This song I inscribe in my heart today is a requiem to you and to me. When tomorrow you lie benumbed in the shadow of the enveloping dark poison flower of death, none will be left here me either to mourn to wet your dead lips with our tears. Therefore, I inscribe this to you. Here is a wish, Mother Earth, not a dead. In the imminence of your death, may your soul rest in peace. You bore countless children who cannot live in amity. You saw them with your own eyes eating one another. You stood helpless, shedding unseen silent tears. Then, as they danced merrily, eating you up slice by slice and protesting all suffering, you stood. Parting your soft green mantle, you breastfed them. As they swelled, they developed a strange thirst, their last, a thirst for the blood of your sacred heart. O oh mother, favorite bride of the sun, you lost your sun-given bridal dress. They tore it to shreds. They clawed at your bare body. They sucked the gushing blood. The rhythm of death resounds everywhere as they swirl in their frenzy dance. The story of the Greek young man who unwittingly married his mother is old. They, the children of Mother Earth, who stripe her naked, are writing a new version of the old story. What they strike, they sell in the market for a drink. The villain's claw, the axe, plays on and on. The eyes of the blazing sun shoot rays of fiery fury. June clouds hunt for drinking water. December nights hunt for cold. April dawns hunt for a tiny flower. Sylvan rivers hunt for swirling currents. The rhythm of creation is shattered. The wheels of the chariot of life are struck on their course. All I have, mother mine, are your sweet memories. Mother, you came as the first awakening with your herb and honey on my tongue. You drip the last drop of water as my flame goes off. I have always marveled at your magic of catching an infant sun in a dewdrop. My fancy has grazed in the shades of your trees. Like prophets of your winds trod upon your seas. Mother, I see you in myriad forms. How you deck the trees with verdant hues. How you scare me with the screeching of the owl. How you comfort me with the cuckoo's song. How you dip the dust in gold. How you carry the eventide and disappear into the woods. How you return with the dawn on your shoulders. How you wake me up and feed me the nectar of poetry. How you carry me ever so gently like the lotus leaf does a drop of water. I know all this, O oh mother, what remains immortal in me are your memories. As an outcast with bowed shaven head, you trudge along the solar highway carrying the bundle of your shame. Weigh down with the sin of having born children who turn mother ravishers. With your mind consumed, doesn't cruel death creep in through your veins? Mother Earth still alive, this is your requiem. The song I inscribe in my heart today is a requiem to you and to me. I won't be here to wet your dead lips to mourn your death. Therefore, I inscribe just this much here. 
O Mother Earth, in the imminence of your death, may your soul rest in peace, in eternal peace. Thus, with these words, the poet Kurup concludes this poem. As I have already said, this poem is in praise of nature and earth and also a dirge for Mother Earth. In this poem, the poet says again and again that the death of the earth is imminent and it is a caution to all humans. Till now, in this video, we have seen the lines of the poem, A Requiem to Mother Earth, written by O.N.V. Kuru. Thank you for listening.